welcome back again to Sherwood Defense. Um, so, just like I said, I'm going to be reviewing uh, at least everything that I have in stock. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to do full reviews right now. We'll get to that, you know, as questions and stuff like that come in. Um, right now, today, what I have to review is uh, imported by EAA. It's uh, Gerson Regard. This is a M9. You know, uh, basically this one, uh, I have them in just plain blue as well. This one here you know, has the desert tan on it. And uh, the only real difference with these at all compared to the Army issue ones is they've made a 18 round magazine for it as opposed to a uh, 17 round magazine. The Army issue gun actually came with a 17 round. So as you can see, we're safe and clear. Nothing there. And uh, let's kind of get into it. You know, I, this is just going to be kind of a quick one. You know, I get these from uh, one of my distributors for uh, a pretty good deal. The price point on these things uh, are pretty darn good. You know, right? Th this one here is about thirty dollars more than the uh, than the other one. Uh, the, the, than the you know, here's the. This one is the one that looks just like the regular one. So anyway, we've got. We've got a, a few of these in stock right now. Um, the the plain blue is uh, you know just under 400 bucks, and like I said, these these desert tans are about 30 bucks more. That's it, no big deal at all. Um, you know, it's nine millimeter, holds 18 rounds. You know, goes together and comes apart just like just like the military version. You know, it's. Uh, Got an ambi safety on it. You've got the nice profile trigger, nice stippled on the end of it. Um, it uh, pops apart if you haven't taken one apart from the army or or anything before. You know it. You you know they're they're made to be taken down very easy. So you've just got this pin, this button right here. Push this button up, and you've got this here. You just twist that. Right there, the whole sucker just slides off, and it, I mean, they come apart very easily. Um, you don't have to pull the trigger or anything like that. You just pop it, slide that deal, and put it up. Of course, it was made for the U.S. Army, and uh, Marine Corps had it as well. Of course, we've switched uh, now to the SIG, the M17 and the M18. I haven't got any of those in stock yet. I will be getting them. Uh, when I do, I'll be uh, doing a review on those as well. Anyway, um, like I said, really good price point. Uh, made they're made in Turkey by Gearson, um, and you know basically Beretta let their Beretta let their uh, um, patent on the thing expire, and the the place and thing, they still make them. Uh, but you know, you know, more civilian versions of them. Nothing wrong with them or anything like that. They're just, you know, got features that, or have features or have taken away features that, you know, maybe some civilian folks don't want. A lot of folks don't really care about the safety. I personally, I like safeties. I like hammer fire guns. Uh, I like hammer fire guns better than I like, uh, better than I like striker fire guns. You know, I couldn't tell you how long it took me to ever buy a Glock. Um, you know, they've been around since the 80s uh, here, and uh, I just never liked them. Uh, I do like a Glock now, but you know, it's uh, mainly because there are just no frills. There's nothing to get caught on anything when you're, when you're carrying concealed and all that sort of stuff. Um, anyway, you know, th this is it. You know, EAA imports them. And uh, if you have any questions, man, or want to look at one, just uh, come on by. Uh, go to... Uh, uh, Sherwood Defense on Facebook, just do a search, it should come up that way. Also, if you go on the YouTube, uh, just search again for Sherwood Defense, you should find my videos there. I'm also now on Rumble, so look for me there as well. You guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.